Cool. Here we go. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Great Company's first look at the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game by Fantasy Flight Interactive. Today is our early release. At long last, we have begun. And this is actually, this is literally my first look at the game as it stands. Uh, my name is Derek. I'm 25% of the Great Company podcast. We are a long-standing, five years is long-standing, right? We're a long-standing um, podcast that goes in-depth with the Lord of the Rings, the card game. And now we're all very excited about the digital rendition of the living card game. So I know Matthew and Ian have been online today. They've sent me some texts about how cool this game is. I'm super stoked. I've been pumped up. Uh, speaking of Ian, what's up? What's up, Ian? Uh, I've been pumped up about this for ages, but I'll get into that later. I've been waiting patiently all day. I haven't watched Luke's stream. I didn't watch any streams today, although I will say it was cool that um, I, got, I popped on Twitch just for a second, and I saw consistently a lot of streams broadcasting this all day long so it's very cool that the game is getting some love and support um right from the get-go so that's really cool but i did not watch luke stream i did not watch any streams i peeked at a, some screenshots then i went like this so i haven't seen the game in its current build so you guys are going to experience that with me uh we're just going to kind of explore the game go through the tutorial we're going to uh spend some palantirs we're going to spend some valor points and then we're going to play a game and uh we'll see what happens so thank you all for joining me and Let's do it. All right. So here we are at the main menu. Nothing, no, nothing new here. Um, well, first things first. We have to pick an appropriate avatar. I didn't pay the big bucks for the uh, Super Mega Edition to not have a kick in avatar. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go hobbity. Let's see what we can do here. Welcome to the chat, Telperion. Dr. Brew. Got some old Winyards here, by the way. We're not sponsored, but we pay our respects. So let's see. There we go. We need a bounder. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what Stokes just said. You guys can check the chat. This is the this is the PG rated performance here. All right, let's dive in. I've been waiting since I was gonna say I've been waiting since December, but really. Um, you can check the tape on the Great Company podcast. I've been saying we need a digital version of this for a long time, so I'm very excited. So, all right, here we go. Bilbo waved to the Bjorning guards as he passed into the twilight landscape beyond the gate. A sickle moon was rising, and calm winds moved the grasses. It goes with our mithril loincloth hall, for a long time fans of the show. Not yet arrived. He'd wished to accompany them on their journey through Mirkwood to Erebor. Despite weary feet and a full stomach, Bilbo was in need of an evening stroll to sing and to think, and hoped to be the first to greet Glowin on the road. Owen, Nori, and Bomba were happy to sip the famous mead of the House of Bjorn, especially Bomba. In the quiet way of hobbits, Bilbo moved invisibly through the night. Memories and thoughts of distant friends lay heavy on his heart. All right, so I remember them saying this is set kind of in the same time frame as the card game, which is between The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, so I'm assuming this is Bilbo's journey after the lo the long-expected party, when he's going to the Lonely Mountain. That makes sense. Oh, shout out, got my Riders of Rohan shirt on, in case you missed that. Lost in memory, Bilbo wandered through meadow and plain until he found himself at the edge of the Greenwood in the last rays of the sinking sun. Scents of growth and decay drifted from the trees. A symphony of evening birds and insects was on the air. Bilbo came out of his reverie as something stirred in the tall bushes nearby. Glowing, perhaps. What emerged was not glowing. Uh oh, I got, a, I got a bad feeling about this, guys. A rough cut of the tutorial. Okay, we're gonna polish the tutorial for All right, cool. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see. We got our f our fate meter. Tracks your fate pool. We've got our threat ometer. We've got our deck, believe it or not. Player resources. We got Sauron's resources. Sauron's cards. Current location or the objective. Okay. Defeat the next two enemies that appear. We 
we got our history. Oh, there's Bilbo. Well done. I like a nice encouraging tutorial. I don't want any adventures. Thank you. Cool. I wasn't expecting this. We've got Bilbo. Eight threat cost. Two attack, one willpower, eight defense. Exhaust Bilbo to steal. Oh, that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. I wonder if this card is going to be uh, officially unlockable at some point. That's cool. You got value, attack, card ability, trait, sphere of influence, willpower value, health value. Yep, checks out. That's legit. Attachment tray. Weapon, armor, special shadow. Fate button. Power button. Okay, these are often obscured in the... Um, when Luke is doing his streams, so it's cool to uh, to actually see that up close and personal. I'm gonna shrink our logo a tiny bit. Cool. So the star is fate. The defense is put up with guard, and then the power button does their ability. The trees of Merc would bring back memories of my younger days. Oh, Bilbo! Such whimsy. Many of them unpleasant. Attachment caused that creature. Checks out. <laughs> I can't wait to see Grima in this game. Upkeep. Let's draw some cards here. We got our three resources. We get our card. Veg fish, you may play cards. Take. So this is the thing, like between uh, uh, even just watching the streams between Hearthstone and then the Lord of the Rings tabletop card game, my brain is like it's not functioning yet. So th th hopefully this tutorial will get my brain in sync with how this game actually works because I'm going to jump between Hearthstone and tabletop Lord of the Rings. So hopefully my brain will get straightened here. Now take a taste of my elvish blade, Sting. Bobo sassy, I like it. Game plus one, attack working plus two, and attacking orcs or spider. Well, luckily, these guys aren't orcs or spiders. They're in luck. Adventure phase, take turns for me. Actions with sound on your opponent. See, I'm already expecting the, like, big red arrow from Hearthstone. Combat exhaust acute attacker. Ah, the beast has a vicious bite. Bilbo got really wimpy in his old age. Lazy lob. Take All right, that. first attack. Okay. Sauron passes. First thing I'm going to say to them, I don't know why they picked upkeep instead of refresh. It's perfect nod to the tabletop, but instead they said upkeep. Pet peeve. So what do you guys think about the two-card thing? Those of you who've been playing today, uh, obviously it's an adjustment from the tabletop, but what do you guys think about drawing two cards instead of one? Does it speed up play enough? Is it... I don't know. I'd be anxious to hear your guys' opinions. Die, snake. Cool. Not so bad. Let's travel. Road is no longer safe. I must warn Glowin. Meanwhile, for days a strange pool had drawn the creature towards the forest's edge. Desire drove it on. 
creature missed the cool air and precious darkness of the stone. Yet for years it had roamed the wilderland, faithfully searching, hunting. So Tales from the Card says, two draw and 3D card decks means you yeah, see way more of your deck than tabletop. Does that make sense in this iteration? Does it feel too fast or does it work for you guys? As it peered out of the trees onto a Bad small dance. trail, its ancient heart began to beat rapidly. Because I guess that's the big thing, right? This is, this is an adaptation. It's a game based on a game, based on a book. So, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's coin. We will face them together, friend. Secure the camp from the spider incursion. Uh, account tell Perion asked what information is there for normal release. I guess he means after early access. It's going to be free to play as far as I know. Obviously a lot's going to change during early access, but my understanding is that it's going to be free to play. You start with a few thousand Valor, you play the tutorial, you get the core set, and then after that you're kind of on your own. You can um, grind Valor to unlock more stuff, but it's probably better resources out there than me. Alright, so we need to secure the camp. Alright, doesn't actually say what it's going to do, but that's okay. Wants me to play Force Protector. One four guard. All right, let's play Force Protector. Let's do it. Star shines on the hour of our meeting. Well met, friend Elf. Okay, so they do reciprocal. That's one thing I was thinking about during the the previous streams is. Uh, with the guard is almost like being able to activate guard is almost like exhausting to defend in the tabletop and also the fact that regular attacks don't deal reciprocal damage kind of felt like a nod that's that's kind of what i'm doing now is processing a lot of these little changes um from the tabletop to this digital rendition i don't i guess i don't mind that it's telling me to play but i kind of just want to quest what does Gloin actually do cool Uh, Finn Barfin's asking about two cards a turn, but that's the easy mode. You don't easy mode. You get two cards a turn, or is it just two? Is it extra resources a turn? I can't recall. More of the foul beasts descend. All right. All right, so this is my first prep card, which will trigger whenever I get attacked. Let's see. All right. Hmm. Coin's going to take a swing. Ooh, I like that battle cry. Audio. Equip Gloin with Star Brooch. All right, do you guys say Gloin or Gloin? That's probably the question of the night, actually. This game, whatever, but Gloin or Gloin, that's the question. I guess because I'm used to Hearthstone, I'm used to dragging the attachments right onto the guy. That'll take some getting used to. Groin, groin, groin. I'll trust the Englishman on that one. Says Stokes. Groin. Says it rhymes with groin. No longer, it would seem.
I can't remember what stalwart is. Does that mean you get two actions in a turn? That would be nice if stalwart popped up. I'm going to check the glossary. Does not okay, yeah, does not exhaust after the first action, so you get two actions. Attack Gloin. Groin. Hit him in the groin. He looks more like a grocer than a burglar. <laughs> Hazard is an optional objective, maybe. Uh, So he's pretty bad, or pretty tough with the, the sting, dealing four damage to a spider. Watch the dark and plus one threat. It looks more like a grocer than a burger. We bask in moving before more show up. When you resolve an objective, you may travel right away or take additional actions. We're gonna get well. Let's see. Is there any reason to play this dude? Is there even gonna, probably not even gonna let me? Is it? We'll just travel. We'll start thinking strategically after the tutorial. Look out! A spider strikes from the shadows. I depart. All right, Telperion. Thanks for stopping by. Did we lose the elf? We lost the elf. It's a tough thing about streaming while you're playing. would have struck without mercy. Had not that filthy dwarf been with baggins. The creature feared the strength of dwarves. Fortunately, it knew of a safer way to snare its prey. For the creature had made friends in the forest over the years. It had learned their chittering tongue. And they'd helped each other in dark deeds. Noiselessly, under shadowed bars. The creature slid off to plead with the lady of the nearby brood. I've just read, uh, Sh I'm reading Lord of the Rings to my kid, and I just read Shelob, so I kind of like this little tie in that um, Gollum understands the speech of spiders. Sure, he might have picked it up in Mirkwood, but really, he was getting some uh, tutorials from Shelob. Yeah, I agree, Stokes. The uh, tutorials vary on the rails, which. As they said, it's an early version. I can think of a few <laughs> things that would have been better. If only the rest but, of the um, was at our side. I don't know. I think they can provide those optional, those little arrows to direct you and still let you do what you want. Destroy the spider's nest. Stranger. Okay, plus one. Enemies gather in the east. Glowing. There's an opening. Attack. Moria! Ah, not that beast has a tough fight. Okay. It's quite a random. Oh, seriously? Hey, give that back. Come back with that. Yeah, this is very much on the rails. But what can you do? The whole blasted forest is against I do like all Bilbo's little running commentary. If any of you played the Lord of the Rings online, that sounds a lot like the, um, the Hobbit voices from that game. I wonder if they were employed the same voice actor. Alright, we're going to play some Watchful Peace. Let's reduce our threat to 23. Okay.
I wonder who's going to show up when we play Sneak Attack. So we're going to play Sneak Attack, and I'm going to bet some money. I am but scratched. Tend to Bilbo first. I'm sure it was going to be Gandalf. You need not worry about anything for the present. Yeah, so there's a lot to, um, you know, even though this is just the tutorial, there's a lot to think about with uh, who has block, who has guard, all the different keywords, those kind of things. I can already see how this would be. Um, it's different enough so far. They're swarming me. Hurry! You remind me of Bjorn. I am Grimbjorn, son of Bjorn. We welcome your aid. Okay, so I guess it's randomized. When you use Bilbo, you get one to three. And I happen to get two at that point. Player cards to take advantage of opportunities. Use Ever Vigilant to ready Bilbo. Okay. I will do as you say, tutorial. Tough you may be, but you will still feel my sting. Well, there you go. Yes! Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the fate. Well, it won't let me, because we're on the rails here. That's okay. So we're going to use fate. Let's we'll see what happens here. Let's see, what, let's see what we got. Unexpected aid. Draw a card. So we spend our two fate to do that. Gandalf means me. Okay, so I guess this fate events trigger or the threat events trigger later. Oh, better keep Bilbo alive. Okay. No end to these awful creatures. Now we get to get off the rails a little bit. Let's go get a Gandalf up in here. I am a servant of the secret fire. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna do some damage here. Sucko. Let's do some questing with this dude. Spider. Oh, got the wrong guy. I guess it's important to read the cards, just like in the tabletop game. So Glenn's gonna take this dude out. Maybe? Am I lagging out? Let's 
see, do we disconnect? Hmm. Alright, I think we got a crash on our hands here. That's not good for the tutorial. Maybe check something here. Okay, it's not my internet, obviously. Huh, let's try again. That was weird. Guess my mouse got stuck or something. No dialogue. Alright, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Ah, he's got block. See? <coughs> Learning. Could put this guy in. Not on my watch. Alright, so this dude will take out the spider. Then we go quest. Get this thing done. Seems weird that they're like shooting stuff when they're questing. Are they like throwing their feet at the quest instead of actually walking? Oh, cool. It's in Goliath's bond. Uh oh. While the party was focused on destroying the spider's nest, a massive spider lunged from the shadows to capture Bilbo and steal him away. Glowing and Arwen recognized that the beast was a spawn of Ungoliant, a spider of tremendous power. They realized that they must return to the nearby Bjornings to organize a rescue party for Bilbo. Their mission clear, the companions return to the Hall of Bjorn with the greatest of Well, we gotta save Bilbo. I mean, the there's not really a whole lot of, of other choices to make here. When a devastated Glowin arrived, exhausted and anguished, the old dwarf tearfully explained how he'd met Bilbo in the outskirts of the Greenwood and how they'd been ambushed by great spiders who had taken the dear hobbit. And to think that Bilbo Baggins rescued us from such webs. It's almost more than I can bear, sobbed the old dwarf. If only Gandalf were here. Alas, the Grey Wizard was nowhere near Bayon's Hall. But another group of hardy folks had arrived shortly after Bilbo left for his evening. Sure, of course he did. The time has come to begin your journey. Go forth. We won't fail you, Galadriel. Alright, uh, so I could do the Palantir stuff. What are you guys doing? So I know some people were saying do the Palantir first. Some people were saying unlock stuff with Valor first. Do the pa hero packs first. What are you guys doing? Let's snoop around the menus a little bit. Then I'm going to jump back in the game. Don't do the plant here, says Dave Stokes. I'll take you at your word, sir. We'll poke around the shop. Cool. Well, I'm sure you guys have seen packs getting open before, so I think I want to jump in and actually play the game. Because like I said, I haven't seen what uh, the new quote-unquote campaign mode is, so I'm kind of eager to check it out. I'll just play with the... I have no problem playing with the starter deck. There we go, Shadow's Reach. Man, this map is great. I think I remember them saying that some dude at um, Fantasy Flight handmade it. And uh, then they, you know, obviously put it in the game. But, like, the candlelight and everything, man, it looks good. You got the little leather-bound books over here. I'm a fan. All right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> Chad, 
I think you're right, man. They could have just copied the tabletop one for one, but instead they did a... Uh, they definitely did a Hearthstone ripoff. I love how I love how Aragorn, uh, Arwen, and Glimly were just, well, we're in the neighborhood. We might as well help find Bilbo. After arriving at Beyond's Hall, you've learned the famous Bilbo Baggins was taken by Mirkwood Spiders mere hours ago. Without we call that a U catastrophe. You volunteer to find and retrieve the Hobbit, hopefully before he's consumed. Or worse. And so you find yourself before Greenwood the Great, that the wary and the wise call Merc. Thanks, Chad. Thanks for popping in, dude. A sleeping evil once inhabited the Greenwood, but was purged many years ago. The forest has since known a period of peace and the return of wholesome life. Can you guys ever play One Ring? Dar Darkening of Merkwood. Darkening Merkwood kind of plays this whole paragraph out over y game years and uh, literal years of play. It's pretty cool. Merkwood going from uh, its purge state after the Hobbit to, to the, the darkness. The spiders took Bilbo. There are ample signs of recent struggle in the small glade, and several of the Hobbit's possessions are strewn about. After a few moments, you notice a gleam of metal on the forest floor. Perhaps a sign. You're about to investigate as several giant spiders creep into the glade. Oh no! They don't seem at all interested giant in spiders. assisting the search. Quite the contrary. Look at that. I am Aragorn, son of Arathorn. A gift I will give you. I shall claim full amends for every fall and stubbed toe. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Actually, like the look of this. We're gonna stick with this. See what we're doing here. Glint of Steel, examine this in case we could quest. We can quest or kill. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead. What does Gimli do again? So Gimli gets plus one attack after a character is damaged. Aragorn gets to. Ready Aragorn and gain a surge action. And Arwen gets to heal at the start of each turn. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, let's get the guard up. That way somebody will get bumped and uh, we'll get Gimli going. My Lord Denethor. The Lord Denethor. Bonk. At eight, at eight, at eight. Let's see, let's see, let's see. To start chipping away at this dude. Let's pump up Aragorn. This is crazy. I feel like I'm starting from scratch. I feel like all the tabletop knowledge doesn't matter right now. I'm learning a whole new game here. We're going to take out this big boy. He cannot stand alone. You're right, he can't. Right, what are my fate options here? Let's see. I'm going to go ham. We're just going to keep shooting. But I wonder if Aragorn would have been better spent. Ooh, that's no good. Deal one damage to every exhausted character. All right, we're going to take this dude out. And since we're fighting, we're going to use we're going to put some fate on her. That's not good. Um. All right. 
we get to see what the next one is? This look uh, exhaust up to two spiders. No, we're not going to do that because we're going to take these suckers out. We're going to go ahead and see what Bilbo has for us. All right, some Limbus. We don't know where he got the Limbus. All right, we'll do the same deal. Sacrifice the poor guard. Bonk. And let's see, let's see. Let's keep chicken away at this dude. I'm assuming fate carries over between locations, but we shall see. Yeah, it's funny because I keep thinking tabletop. All right, what's on the board is on the board. It's hard to remind myself that more stuff is coming, that there's this reciprocal thing happening. All right, let's see. With her, is it just the arrival? Okay, just the arrival. She gets plus one threat. Let's do this. He cannot stand alone. I have a feeling she's going to eat my guard, though. Oh, nope, she's going to eat my Lancer. Couldn't take dude out. And we're going to ready up Aragorn. No, we're not. We're going to... Yeah, ready up Aragorn and then use Arwen to take out our friend here. Yeah, you do. Of course you pass. Oh, Suckle. And I kind of want to play Mithrandir's advice, but I think I'm going to hold off see, in case I need the resources next round. We'll see what happens. What does this do? Huh. Could have played that better. All right. You guys are getting busted up here. I don't like my chances. But I'll tell you what, I'm having a good time. That's a good sign so far. Uh, let's keep Gimli on his feet. Get him going. Lying on the forest floor is a small elven blade. Beautiful, strong, and light. This must be Bilbo's sword sting, a valuable treasure. Ooh. Do I actually get a sting card? Heck yeah. Look at that. Now, I can't remember. I apparently wasn't paying attention during the tutorial. Discard every... <laughs> I love that. My whole hand is gone now. Congratulations, Sauron. You suck. Does he get one more move after travel? I can't remember. I want to check and find out. Wrong button. I was probably not going to be in here. Let's see. Nope, it's not there. All right, we'll just see what happens. So we travel. Okay, so I guess it's like he gets one more action with stuff on the board when I travel. He being Sauron. Well, I still I felt kind of weird that they named the AI Sauron. Could have just been the enemy or something. That's just my lore nerd coming out because you're not really fighting Sauron. These spiders aren't you being manipulated by Sauron, but what can you do? Away. When the spider's poison immobilized him, he must have dropped Sting. Encouraged, you venture into the shadowy green-gray wilderness that is Mirkwood. All right. Meanwhile, the small cocoon has dropped before the lady. I think Gollum showed up. The skinny creature squeals in pleasure and anticipation, jumping to and fro on arms and legs as if a spider himself. The creature gives the cocoon a kick. Falsities, baffles, trickster, thief, cheater, Gollum, Gollum. 
quality voice acting. The enormous spider moves to hover over the cocoon. Spear-sized mandibles emerge slowly from its dripping maw. Suck it to bounces, my lady. No hangings or drying as needed. Not like tough dwarfs or tricky elves. Sweet and juicy hobbities. Just leave clothes, my lady. Ow! Ow! For precious, precious. In its pocket says, My precious. The spider monstrosity is about to delve into her meal when a sudden noise is heard from the edge of the lair. Flapping its hands nervously and bobbing its scrawny neck, the creature pleads. Oh, don't listen to what's the noises, my lady. Eat, eat, while habit is warm. Someone has arrived, and the spiders move to greet them. For hours, you delve into the menacing. Mm, There's a lot of story text. I'm, I'm liking this. And sticky crawlers grab at you as if with minds of their own. A subtle change in the echo of the wood heralds a change in scenery, and you soon come upon a dark, gurgling stream. While the watery smells and soothing <laughs> sounds relax you, you've been warned not to. Man, loves those chicken wings. Save for that gathered from fresh rain. The spiders must have crossed the stream by traversing the canopies above. But how will you cross? A nearby dead tree may be the answer. You attempt to push at the dry trunk, hoping for it to fall and bridge the stream. Unfortunately, your efforts attract the local wildlife. Uh-oh. Local wildlife meaning spiders? Nope. Bears. only draw one card first turn. That's interesting. Alright, let's see. We do knock over the tree. And then let's see. Bear has pursuit, so he's the only one that would follow us. Foul weather. Oh, okay, never mind. Each player draws one less card thanks to this foul weather. Man, this thing is that is some ballin' stuff. Ballin' like ballin'. So who gets it? Um I think what I want to do first is Use. We're gonna use Arwen to take out these bats just to get them out of the way before they can take out my um, Citadel Guardsmen. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take out this here bear. He cannot stand alone. Although that card draw would have been nice. I wonder if I should have um, done that first. But anyway. All right, so we cleared out a little bit. Although I'm feeling he's probably gonna play an enemy. Yep, nope, it's not. Oh lord. Okay, that's. I'm glad I didn't play Sting then, because I'd be very sad right now if I lost Sting. All right, cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. So we are going to. It only seems appropriate to give Sting to Aragorn, so we're gonna do that. Sauron passes. We're going to play... Might as well play the Lancer. And... We're going to go ahead and take out the... So we can get our two cards next turn. We're going to ready Aragorn. One thing I, w I will say... Um, Tim is the lead over at Fantasy Flight Interactive. He uses the term quality of life. I don't know if that's a common gamer thing. But I really think like a mouse over or right click menu would be really helpful. So instead of having to click Aragorn and then click this... If there's some uh, context menu where you right click and then those three buttons we see here power, fate, and def guard um, or defend just pop up around the cameo I think that would be a lot cooler but they don't ask me these questions no alright cool, I feel pretty good about this round we're going to go ahead and go to the next round get our two cards Mm -mm. Three, four spiders. Good lord. It's a lot to keep up with with the with the threat events too. 
keep forgetting about those. I'm going to take advantage of Sting and uh, go ahead and knock out one of these spiders before they have a chance to attack. Right, so Stokes is talking about how they want to make the, uh, the UI tablet compatible. I agree with that. Dog and Thimble, is that Chris Shock? Or is it one of the other wonderful hosts of Dog and Thimble? Thanks for joining us. Let's find out what happens next here. So my spider tried to eat my Lancer. Um... I'm just going to go guard with Gimli. Let's see how that does. Then I'm going to put self-prez on Gimli. Who's blocking now? It may be Chris. Welcome, Merkwood. We're in your hometown there, Merkwood Runner. All right, all right, all right. Let's, um, I feel like I'm going to keep getting bogged down and killing baddies, so we're going to go ahead and use R1 to start questing here. And I could ready Aragorn potentially to take it out with the Lancer, but I'm going to put the lookout on display first. We're going to go ahead and crack on here. I don't want to drag on too long because the threat's already starting to eat me up. I'm going to hit a threat event here in a second. So Yeah, we're, so we're about to lose an ally next round, so we're going to go ahead and do the thing. Oh, give me a break! Restore every objective to its full quest value. This is ridiculous. All my hard work. I'm just gonna kill this spider for spite's sake. Sucker. I will say, I was uh, with the... Um, Watching the streams and watching the game develop over the last six months or so, it felt like tabletop in that it's obviously a very different game, but you're making some of the same decisions. It didn't feel like Hearthstone. And I will say, where I am right now is my first full game. It's kind of in the middle, right? It feels a little bit like Hearthstone. It feels a little bit like tabletop. It feels a little bit like Feria or Gwent or whatever kind of digital game you want to pick. Um, it feels like it's landed in its own niche, but again, this is just my first take on it, so... We'll kind of see what happens. Uh, the fact that there's this interplay between the player and Sauron is what makes it not feel like tabletop. If it was just I had my turn and I reacted to what Sauron did and then he played more cards than I reacted, that would feel a lot like tabletop. Um, but the fact that there's this back and forth keeps it, I think, from feeling more like tabletop, which is interesting. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn here and stop yapping. Here we go. Who is... Uh, Alright, I'm going to read some of this flavor text. Somebody bothered to put it in there. So dodging a blow, you lose your balance and fall backwards into the dark stream. Friendly hands quickly retrieve you, coughing and spluttering from the water. You feel strange, wonderfully strange. The force blurs as a strong, dark force seems to pull you to the ground, guiding you to a sweet, deep oblivion. Ooh, very flavorful. Yeah. Dwarves are ready. I like the way the stream looks. I will say this game is not running super well on my computer. I don't know if it's because I'm running it windowed or if I need to kick it down to a lower resolution. But it still looks really nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take out the spoiler before he can attack. No One damage is not a big deal, so I don't feel the need to take this dude out before he does anything. So we're gonna go ahead and contribute to the quest, just so we can kind of keep, just so we can kind of keep moving here. Yeah, so that's not a big deal. I'm not worried about that. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the axe hand on board, so he's ready for next round. We get to the next phase. Alright, so now we need to take this dude out, because what, what does that despair do? 
Plus one, yeah, I don't need my threat raise any higher, so we're gonna go ahead and take this dude out. And we're gonna take this location down. That foils my plan a bit. Ready up. Aragorn does definitely feel like Aragorn, like which I like. No man. In other words, he feels like a big old badass. Man, he's cranking up my threat. Yeah, let's travel. Get up out of here. So somebody help me out. He just gets one more action b before I travel. Is that how it works? Because he just ate my my dude. Anybody? One more action before traveling. The dead tree falls across the stream with a splintery crack. You use the fallen trunk to step across, careful to not slip. What could cause wild creatures to attack so? Perhaps the corrupted stream is their main source of water. As you jump off the trunk on the far side, a deep rumble greets you. For a brief moment, you wonder what could make such a sound, but only for a brief moment. For out of the shadows shambles big, an enormous big bear. black bear fight. It Where's Dan? The sound is staggering. It fills the air like a living thing, terrifying and primordial. See you, Chad. Thanks for stopping by. The impact of the roar sends you reeling backwards, almost into the stream. It charges. An avalanche of fur teeth. I don't want to fight no bear, man. This is a long... Defeat Kairos. Kairos. I'm gonna assume this is the last one because we got the big boss. Unbeatable gloom. Defeat every. Oh, give me a break! I'm about to lose two allies. This is brutal. Y'all been taking notes from Caleb. The oppression of Mirkwood's never-ending gloom and sinister wildlife become too much for your companions to bear. Convinced they're no match for the rude, awakened horrors of this cursed forest, they take panic foot for hearth and home. Run, you cowards! Okay. Clarification from Ian. All ready enemies get to attack when you travel. I don't like the look of this bear. That's cool. This uh, background looks almost hand painted. Exhaust any character that is damaged by this card. Mm mm mm. Lock. That's going to be important. You know what? We're going to throw Arwen under the bus here for just a second. Just so we can get our... our, our <laughs> Sorry, little bear. Let's go ahead and sneak in. Now, does block... Let me see. Reduces the fr taken from an attack. Okay, so if I put block on these dudes. It doesn't cancel any reciprocal damage, but there is no reciprocal damage because this dude does not is not on guard. Okay, cool. So I feel better about this boss fight now that I have wrapped my head around what's going on here. Let's sneak in somebody and see what happens. Maybe we could take this dude out faster. Um, could have done better. Well, that sucked. What does this guy do? Oh. Let's do... Let's do... No, let's see. I want to get his revenge while he's still in play. So if we attack... <sighs> yeah, I guess we'll just get Arwen back. Whatever. So we can put n a bit of damage on him. Oh, no, no. I think Arwen's about to eat, eat it. I serve no man. Okay, actually, no, I can take him out this round. We're going to kill... Power up. 
It doesn't seem, again, I don't know if it's my system or what, but there seems to be a little bit of a delay in response. Like, I know you got to show the resources being used, but it would be nice just to be able to click immediately and attack since I know what I want to do. But Whatever. No got you, sucker. Probably should have played self prez on Arwen, but whatever. Before the monotony of the forest claws at you again, you come upon a sudden clearing. The sluggish breeze and one grey light of the dell are a welcome change from the humid twilight of the forest. On the far side of the clearing, you spy what you've been looking for. A group of large spiders hovering over a tightly wound cocoon. It's time for it's a rescue. For a Let's do this. Oh boy. Arwen is super dead. Ah. That sucks. Imlad, just in time. Thanks, buddy. How may I serve? Bonk. Alright, makes sense to use Airborne to take this dude out before he can attack. I don't care for that three attack spider, though. He cannot stand alone! All right, let's see. Advance warning. What does this do again? Exhaust the next enemy that enters play. Oh, I like that. We're going to do that. All right, let's let's quest as Dan Hunter would say. He's exhausted, but he's still got guard up. It feels worth it to me to go ahead and get Aragorn up since he's got stings. So we we'll go ahead and take dude out. Attack. That's the question. Start chipping away at the big fellow. Alright. And around game plus one threat. 44. What is four? Is it 45? Discard all card from each player's deck. That's ridiculous. So in other words, I'm about to lose how many cards have I got? I got twelve cards left. Bro, this is crazy. It's tempting to put the warrior sword back on Aragorn, but I wouldn't be able to because he's already got a weapon attached. You can't double down like that, can you? Okay. What to do? like this at all. We're going to guard up with Gimli, see what happens. I 
think Gimli might be dead. That's not good. Let's see. Go ahead and do her job. Rivendell. What's up there, dude? Alright, so it's not Bilbo, but he's still going to pound some posers. Let's go ahead and do that. Come on. He cannot stand alone. Treachery. Double treachery. I guess all elves learned that line in Lothlorien. That's annoying. Alright, well, I think we got. We should hopefully get it next round. All I gotta do is kill some spiders. I'm assuming we're going to meet the victory conditions here. We're right about now, unless that treachery is something stupid. Which it very likely could be. No Alright, we did it. Quest complete. Sweet. Meanwhile, the lady and her brood are gathered at the edge of their lair. A band of orcs and goblins have emerged. Awesome. Well, um, does anybody have any interest in me opening packs? Before we go, we're doing some Palantirs. I know that's kind of the fun random thing. If not, I'm going to sign off for the night. So if you're in the chat, let me know if you want to see me open some packs. Otherwise, um, I'm going to offer some thoughts, and then we'll wrap it up after we hear this uh, wonderful voiceover. The rush back into the webs. The spiders soon return with web-wrapped cocoons, depositing them in front of the orc captain. Goblins rush to gather the cocoons, loading them into carts. As the last cocoons are loaded, a hooded goblin begins screeching at Ufthak, pointing to a parchment full of hash marks. Ufthak glares at the yelling goblin for a moment. Then Ooh, Ufthak. He's from the corset. The I like that. We won short, Leggy. The orc's grainy voice is mild, but laced with promise of violence. Cold masters don't like swords. Ufthak don't like swords. We had deal. Interesting. After recovering, Will Elk thanked you profusely. Over the past few months, he tells you, a number of tribesmen have gone mysteriously absent. He suspects they've fallen prey to similar circumstances, but offers no explanation as to why the great spiders have suddenly become so daring. Afraid to return home through the forest alone, Will Elk offers to join you and suggests which direction the spiders were taking him. Somewhere under the never-ending trees before you, an old hobbit awaits rescue or doom. Well, it's a good setup for the campaign. What did I get here? 155, all right, I'll take it. Final score determines whether one, any one-time hero awards are granted for this quest. Hero can gain a reward once per quest. I guess I didn't earn anything. Was it Valor? So 200 plus gets you Valor. 250 gets you Planter. Oh my. Alright. Replay, boys and girls. Cool. So let's see what happens next. People were whining about microtransactions. Let's see. Yeah, I want to buy that. Why not? Heck yeah. Well, there you have it. Awesome. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Well, uh, let's see. Let me offer some closing thoughts here. 
from one nerd to another. Um, I'm impressed so far. This is cool. As I said at the top, uh, I've been looking forward to this for since before it was announced. And so this is a bit dreamlike for me. And I would say it met my expectations so far. Uh, I felt like once the once I started getting over that initial hump of the controls and the learning curve, uh, it started to make a lot of sense. I felt like I was capable of making the right decisions, even with just the starter deck, having not built the deck myself. Uh, also, um, I had some background knowledge, you know, watching the streams and things like that. But the like I said, I think it found its own little niche kind of between the digital games and the tabletop. It's got a lot of nods to the tabletop, but the back and forth uh, action is both fairly unique because you don't really see that in Hearthstone or, or, or other games like that. Um, and it also differenti differentiates it from the tabletop because in the tabletop it's very streamlined. You plan, you quest, and so on. Whereas this, you plan a little bit, then you might quest, then you might attack, then you might defend. So it's all kind of jumbled together. And, and I think it works so far. Uh, obviously, I'll find out more as I get into the, the, the microtransactions how bad that is. I don't really see it being that bad, though, because they have I know they've gone to great lengths to not make it an interference. We're not playing Candy Crush here, so that's pretty cool. Um, never mind the fact that I'm deeply invested in this, so I probably won't have a problem unlocking all this stuff. So uh, I see myself playing a whole lot of this. Um, I haven't really had the time or the impetus to play a lot of tabletop of late, so I think that the fact that I can just jump in, not have to fiddle with the cards, uh, the UI is obviously a lot nicer than Octagon. Um, I think I could see myself playing this quite a lot. So anyway, I'm stoked. I'm stoked on it. It seemed like the response from my fellow great companions, Matthew and Ian, uh, was positive as well. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to play, I'm gonna unlock some packs here after I sign off, play a lot more tomorrow. And uh, we'll hopefully be recording again soon on the podcast. And at which point we will uh, let you know some more thoughts after we spent some more time with this game. So, but for right now, congratulations to uh, to Tim and Luke and Fantasy Flight Interactive. It seems pretty cool. I'm stoked. And um, most of all, thank you all for joining me for our little video here. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, you feel free to contact us. Remember, our website is the Great Company Podcast at gmail.com if you're our website our email is the great company podcast at gmail.com if you have any questions great company podcast.com is our website if you want to check out some episodes uh or find out other ways to contact us and follow us on the socials we'd be happy to, to chat with you all as well um again thank you for watching and until next time farewell <laughs>